guys, my name is Cal, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play uh, Counselors of the Lonely by the Rock and Tours. Great song, uh, some really crunchy riffs, and the timing uh, is particularly tricky on this song, um, but I think you guys should be able to get it. So, without further ado, let's get into the song. Okay, so the song starts out on the 3rd fret low E string, and you hit that once. And then with your second finger, place it on the third fret G string and sort of hit it once and then do a little pull off. And a pull off is where you pull down on the string, you pick it, and you pull down without the pick and then let go. So it rings, uh, sort of, it's sort of like you're picking it but without the pick so it sounds slightly different. So again, second finger on the third fret low E string and then your third finger on the third fret G string. So. And then go to the 3rd fret G string again. Then to the 2nd fret G string. And then you repeat that pattern uh, a couple times. Um, and then on the last time, he does it uh, three times in a row, this part. And the last time, on the third, uh, the third strum, you go same pattern, just instead of uh, ending it on the second fret, you end it with an open G. So. Now there's two other things that he does, little variations that you don't really need to know but uh, they could help improve the sound, and that is sometimes before going back to the 3rd fret low E string, he'll hit the 1st fret low E string, and then hammer on with your 3rd finger on the 3rd fret low E string. So. And he sort of does that off and on, uh, alternating occasionally. Now the other thing he does is at the end of this uh, riff, when you hit this three times, sometimes he does this, and you can sort of decide whether or not uh, you like the sound of just strumming it, uh, just mute uh, strum, like that, or and that is just an open uh, D string, 3rd fret D string, then another open fret, uh, sorry not an open fret, open, uh, open D string, and then to the 3rd fret G string, and then to the 2nd fret G string, so. And again, you can sort of add that in occasionally. Don't do it every time because it'll sound a little bit weird, but you can do it uh, sometimes and it'll sound good. So. And then it ends on a G power chord, which is a first finger on the third fret, low E string. Third finger on the uh, the fifth fret A string, and your pinky underneath that on the fifth fret D string. And then it goes to a really simple chord progression. It goes from that G uh, down to the first fret low E string. Uh, it's another power chord. So, and the timing, just kind of listen to it, and you'll get it. So, and then back up to the G. So G. Uh, F, G. Um, and then he changes and goes to uh, one octave above, so we go to a C power chord, which is first fret, first finger on the third fret A string, and then in the same power chord formation. And then again, go to the first fret, this time on the A string power chord. Same, same uh, pattern as before, just one string up. And then it goes to this, which is just uh, that C power chord to the first fret A string. Then hit that again, and then go to the first fret E string. 
and then after the G. So. Right back into that pattern, and that uh, little uh, chord progression is played throughout most of the song. Now the other part he does during the chorus goes up to the uh, the se sorry seventh fret yeah seventh fret on the A string, then down to the first fret on the A string as well. These are power chords, by the way. Actually, I'm just realizing it's 5th fret, not 7th fret, That's uh, sorry about that. So instead of the 7th fret, just do it 5th fret on the A string power chord, so. Yeah, it sounds a lot better. Um, and the picking, the strumming is just down, down, and then down, up, down, up. And then it changes, totally changes timing and goes back to the intro of the song. And then he goes through some verses with uh, Jack White singing this time. Um, and it's pretty simple. You guys will hear the timing for the rest of the, uh, the rest of the song. And then it just goes back eventually after Jack's verses are done, it just goes back into the... Um, now for the solo, it changes and the bass starts to do this. Which is just a uh, first finger on the first fret low E string. Hammer on with your third finger on the third fret E string. And then basically the way to pick it is you go down, up, down, up picking like really fast like this. Uh, you get the you get the gist of it, and all the while uh, Jack White is doing a solo starts on the 13th fret high E string to the 15th fret high E string. So um, and you can again hear the timing and the notes played for that, but it's really simple. I'm not even gonna call it a solo. Um, it's basically just those two notes over and over again. All the while, the rhythm guitar is playing this, uh, which is just that uh, first fret power chord on the low E string to the uh, the G power chord on the third fret uh, low E string. And that one change uh, goes, it just basically goes same same power chord formation, except this time to the first fret A string. And you hit that uh, three times, I believe. So it's. I should only hit twice. And again, uh, those are two guitar parts going on at the same time. So while that's happening, Jack White's doing this. Uh, and you get the idea. That's pretty much the entire song. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, suggested songs, leave them down below in the comment section and I will hopefully uh, be able to, uh, to play them for you guys. So that was Counselors of the Lonely. Hope you guys have a great day, and see you guys later.